Hello and welcome back to the next uh, top tip for the garden. Um, many people think this time of year, being November, is a quiet time in the garden, but there's always something to do in the garden. And today we're going to concentrate on one of those jobs of putting the garden to bed for the winter, and that's cleaning the garden furniture. When I say furniture, I mean wooden furniture, teak, hardwood furniture. Now it's been out all summer, and you can imagine if you were outside all summer, what your skin would feel like. And it's just the same with wood. It just needs some uh, TLC, some tender loving care. So we need to give it a full massage with teak oil now. But before we can do that, it needs a damn good clean. I mean, it's hard to imagine how much dirt there is in rain in the atmosphere. But imagine you go away on holiday, you park your car up outside, you go away for two weeks, come back, and there's this like film of dust and dirt on the car. That's what it's like. And can you imagine like, this has been out all summer in that. So it just needs to be cleaned off. And to clean it, I'm going to use a power washer. Now I can hear some of you saying, oh, you should never use a power washer for cleaning garden furniture. Uh, but this is my take on it. We bought this uh, garden furniture in London at John Lewis and uh, it was in a sale and part of the deal was that we had to go and collect it ourselves. And at the time we had an estate car, so we went down there, piled all the furniture in the back of the car and drove home. Now sitting next to me in the front seat was my baby son. He was six months old at the time. And this year, he turns 23. He's still going strong, and so is our garden furniture. So don't be frightened about using a power hose on your garden furniture. As long as it's good quality garden furniture, it'll take it. Now when I say a power hose, I mean a really decent one, a petrol driven one. You can use one of these electric ones, but to be honest, you might as well clean it with a toothbrush. You want something with a bit of power, a bit of thrust, that will get really into the grain. So either buy one, hire one, or hire someone like me to come and do it for you. Now it will take a couple of hours to do the furniture and I won't bore you with that. So I'm going to show you the furniture what it's like before I clean it. And after. I did use detergent once, but it turned into a bit of a, a bit of a foam party, so I wouldn't recommend it, just stick to water. And that's it, once it's clean, you just put it somewhere nice and dry for a while, and then you teak oil it. Excuse me, yeah. when you say put it aside for a while, how long do you mean? I would say a minimum of two weeks, but to be on the safe side, leave it in there until Christmas, and that's the first job after Christmas. Take it out and teak oil it then. Well, I hope you found that informative as much as we did. Uh, and hopefully you'll be able to join me for the next one. Cheers. We can teak oil it. We need to, um, need to wash it. <laughs> and you can use one of these electric ones, but uh, you might as well clean it with a toothbrush. You want something with a bit of power and a bit of thrust. <laughs> I did use detergent once, but uh, it um, it turned into. A... I did use de... Did... I did use detergent. Jesus, too cold to say that word.